This episode of D News is brought to you by the Toyota Prius. Let's lead the way. Hey, Kiki, have you ever pretended to see like a bee? Only when I want to get buzzed. Aww. <laughs> hey everyone, Julia here for D News with Dr. Kiki from This Week in Science. Howdy! A new kind of eye was described this week in the study published in Current Biology. This eye belongs to a species of tiny, transparent aquatic crustaceans called Parafromina gracilis. It's a compound eye, like the eyes that are found on bees and flies. But according to researchers from the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History in Duke University, this type of eye has never been seen before on any other creature! No, it's new! But there are actually lots of different compound eye layouts. But in the standard structure, light comes in through multiple faceted lenses called omatidia. They're on the surface of the eye. Then it's channeled to the retina. That's the membrane that puts together the image before it's sent to your brain. Right, and to get there, light from the lenses travels down these little tunnels called rhabdom that are kind of like fiber optic cables. And if you're wondering how that would look, you can think of it like pixels in a video image, where each pixel makes up a part of the whole image. The number of lenses would be equal to the number of pixels. So the more lenses give compound eyes clearer vision of the world. Right, they're pretty neat. Yeah. But in this particular study, the eye that was described had 16 distinct retinas that look like bright orange upside down pyramids instead of just one flat membrane. P. gracilis is found in the deep twilight waters of the ocean where the only light is a dim blue light from the surface or from bioluminescence. So the researchers think that multiple retinas might allow them to have a better resolution or a clearer picture than other organisms that project into a single retina. Based on the angles of orientation of the eyes and the lenses themselves that could be all over the place, the scientists think that the little animals are mainly focused upwards, looking for the shadows from their prey. And although they can only see about 5 to 10 centimeters, it's really good for an animal that's only 10 to 17 millimeters long and lives in the dark. They also give a little attention to what's going Going on to each of their sides, probably looking for bioluminescence from other deep sea creatures. Picrocillus are known as high period amphipods, a good sized group with around 320 different species described so far. Lots of them are really weird with really weird eyes that allow them to see specific parts of their environment. Like blue versus green light, or shadows versus lines and edges. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty amazing how nature comes up with all sorts of solutions to the challenge of being able to see, or at least detect light, which can be extremely important for survival. Absolutely. Since eyes first appeared in the early Cambrian period, about 540 to 600 million years ago, haven't they independently evolved something like 50 to 100 times? Yeah, like a crazy amount of times. There are 10 different basic eye layouts that we know of. Simple eyes with a single lens like ours have evolved in animals like octopus and box jellyfish. Some animals like the spookfish use mirrors to focus light in their eyes rather than a lens. Oh, and then there's also a brittle star that has omatidia all over its skin, so its whole body acts like a compound eye. And did you know that dragonflies have something like 28,000 lenses in their eyes? It makes them amazing flying predators. The eyes definitely have it. What's your favorite kind of eye? Tell us in the comments below. Or you can find me on Twitter at Dr. Kiki. And be sure to subscribe to D News for more science every day. This episode of D News is brought to you by the Toyota Prius. Let's lead the way.